six-year-old Braden Jennings, standing tall as the letter I in the word kind. This photo recently taken by a teacher at Wildwood Elementary School where Braden was a first grader. He and his sister were new to the Middletown District. They enrolled just three months ago. Today, the crisis intervention team was at the school helping others deal with this weekend's triple tragedy. Braden, his mother Amanda Kidwell, and her mother Betty Davis were killed. Braden's eight-year-old sister, Ardrina Sanchez, survived but remains in the hospital. The family was heading south on I-75 Friday night. A semi traveling north crossed the median and collided with the Middletown family's car. That section of, of Interstate 75 uh, does have a, a grass median. Uh, that separates the north and southbound lanes. It also has cable barriers to prevent cars from crossing over the median. Uh, unfortunately, in this case, we're talking about a several thousand pound uh, vehicle, a tractor trailer loaded with cargo, uh, traveling at uh, highway speeds. Uh, it just, it's, not, it's not realistic that uh, such a barrier could stop that heavy of a vehicle, unfortunately. Moraine police say there are a lot of unknowns at this point, such as whether impairment, speed, driver inattention, or an illness played any role. Investigators say this crash is different from another high-profile one-way crash in the same area where 21-year-old Abby Michaels is accused of intentionally crossing the median and killing this Mason family of three. We uh, unfortunately have, have had investigations in the past year recently uh, where we've dealt with uh, what we believe are intentional crossovers. Uh, there's nothing in this case yet that indicates this was intentional. And the truck driver has been identified as 40-year-old Todd Bowen of Michigan. He was treated at the hospital and released. Marine police say he is cooperating. Reporting live tonight in Middletown, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.